All right, so step number one is to make sure that the videos or the shorts that we're creating are all about things that people care about. And the way that we verify that is we use a keyword research tool so that way we can see if it even has like a little drip coming in, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. So what I would do, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and take this keyword right here since this is actually one that I didn't use. And then I'm gonna go over here to a tool called the Google Keyword Planner. Now the Google Keyword Planner is a free tool. All you gotta do is just sign up for a G Email account and then go ahead and sign up for a Google Ads account through that and then you're gonna be good to go and then you can just come in here click on tools and then go ahead and scroll up here to where it says keyword planner now from here what I'm gonna do to prove that the keyword that I'm using actually has some type of demand I'm gonna go here where it says discover new keywords I'm gonna then paste in that keyword that I just took hit enter and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit get results now let me go ahead and move me out of the way real quick and I'll move me back down there in a minute but you can see right here this particular keyword that I that I went for it gets between 10 to 100 searches now if I was running paid ads it would show me the accurate number and then I can really dial down in the numbers but we can see it gets searches now in your mind you might be saying well 10 to 100 searches isn't that much searches but the way that I like to think about it as if I'm building a house right so if I'm building a house it goes brick by brick right so if I got this 10 to 100 over here this 10 to 100 this 10 to 100 and then I get to where I got like six or seven 10 to hundreds that starts to build up over time right and that's just like my thought process behind it I know some people try to focus on a thousand to ten thousand and all the other stuff and that comes with time but the more you do those tens and is very focused on a particular niche then it's gonna benefit you a whole lot more all right so that's step number one make sure we get a keyword that actually gets search all right so now once we get that keyword then I want you to go to a tool called 11 labs.com so this is what it's gonna look like you know at this time that I'm recording and you can see right here it says get started for free so just go ahead and hit that button go ahead and sign up if you got to pause the video to come back then go do what you got to do all right all right, so now let me go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, now once you get inside of here, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have the speech synthesis, the voice lab, history, and the resources. All right, so the speech synthesis page is important, but if you're trying to clone your own voice, then you wanna go here to the voice lab first. All right, so you can see it says instant voice cloning. So I like how they do this. They keep it very, very simple. All you gotta do is just upload like real short MP3s of yourself, and then it's gonna build your voice based off of that. And what I really like about it is that you can actually adjust the settings to you know as far as like stability and all of that good stuff so i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about so you can see right here i've only done one out of 30 voices right i can create 30 different ones but if you if i go right here to where it says edit you can see i just named it test rakeem and then all you got to do is just click to upload a file or drag and drop all right now look at the size right so this is important audio files up to 10 mb each okay and you can see i've uploaded 10 out of the 25 all right, and then all I did really was inside of the software we're gonna be using called Descript, or uh, you know, I'm gonna show you a little bit later in the video. All I did was I turned my video audio into MP3s, and then I just went ahead and uploaded it there because that saves me time. I don't have to sit there and record an MP3, you know, from scratch. I already got a lot of my stuff that's all mixed all too. So if you got the same thing, you, you'll be able to see how you'll be able to do that. All right, all right, so boom. So there's all the audios that I uploaded, and then down here here this part right here is a little bit new they didn't used to have like the labels and the description but what I did to make it even better I put a description so it can take what I got and then use that description to make it a little bit better so black African American man with a deep voice and a slight southern accent because that that's me right so I wanted to give it the best information so it could spit out the best the best quality all right and then what you want to do from there is you want to click here I hereby confirm that I'll have all necessary rights and X Y Z one two three. Just make sure you read all this information because it is legal, and you don't really want to get yourself, you know, screwed up, you know, along down the road, all right? All right, and then right here, you just go ahead and I think I don't think it says edit voice when you first do. I think it says like OK or submit or something like that, and then it's gonna instantly clone your voice based off the information that they gave you.
you, all right? Now, for you, all you will have to do is just hit add voice. And right here, it's gonna give you three options. This option is technically not available yet. It come a little bit, little bit around like July. But these two, right, you can either create a voice based off of some of the, the templates that they have, or you can do the instant voice cloning like I just showed you. Or whenever this comes out, this is more of the training voice, right? So you can keep uploading stuff and this, your, your voice gonna keep getting better each and every single time, all right? All right, so boom, you would click instant voice cloning and then you would go through the process that I just walked you through. Okay, now once you do that, now we wanna go over to the speech synthesis page. Now for sake of time in this video, cause I don't want this video to be that long, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to this page and I'm gonna just leave the information that I have in here, all right? So boom, I chose the voice that I wanted and you see they got pre-made voices as well, but I always go with my clone voice based off the data that I provided it, right? So over here, this is what I love about this. You can adjust the settings on the voice. So right now, these are my custom settings. I got 80 for the stability, and then I got 60 for the clarity and the similarity enhancements. Basically, all that means is they're going to put your voice based on what you gave them, but they're going to also filter in some other type of voice. And this is just something that I noticed um, you know, when I was really listening to it, it's kind of like another voice that kind of comes in slightly, but your voice is kind of like they're out there like a competition. They're pushing against each other. And that's what creates the voice. And it's actually pretty good. All right. So, boom, you adjust your settings. And then this is actually another new setting. So they had the 11 monolingual V1, right, which is just, you know, text to speech English. But you can click this and then you can use like the multilingual, which is English, German, Polish, Spanish, Italian. French, Portuguese, and you can input those languages in. And then what it's going to do, as you can see here, text to speech and then voice conversion coming soon, right? So they, they're, they're really, you know, upgrading their stuff, making it better and better. But for now, we're just going to use the 11 monolingual. And then from here, all you got to do is just answer the question. So the question which people are looking for, they want to know how to create YouTube videos fast using AI software. So since we know that that's the case, let's go back over here. And all I did was I literally showed them step by step right so if we go over to my channel I created this video right here how to create YouTube videos fast using AI software but it was a short right and then what I did was I said if people wanted to see a full version which is this video that I'm creating right now then all they would have to do is just comment full version so let me actually go ahead and click on this so you can see exactly what it looks like here's exactly how to create YouTube videos fast using AI step number one Go to a website called 11labs.com. All right, so I'm going to stop it. Now, obviously, you can see that I got the AI version of me as well. Now, if you want to see a video on how to do that, then I can show you a video on how to do that because it's a little bit different. Uh, a little bit of a different software that I use to do that. So just let me know that down below. But this is the video that I did. And then now that prompted me to do this video that, you, that you're watching right now. All right, so I'm gonna click off that. And then we're gonna go back over here. Now let's get back to the steps. So once I got my text here, what I wanna do is I wanna hit generate and then we're gonna listen to how it sounds. Here's exactly how to create YouTube videos fast using AI. Step number one, go to a website called 11labs.com and set up a free account. Step number two, go to the tab at the top that currently says voice lab and then at the bottom all right so we're gonna stop it right there so as you can see whatever you type in here it's gonna take that and then it's gonna say it and what i like about it is it's also good with let's say i want to add a comma because i want him to kind of stop in between it knows and understands that with this particular software right here and also if you put a period it's gonna be a longer pause or if you do i think it's called like an ellipsis or something like that where you do the dot 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 it understands all of that so if you put it all you got to do is just make sure that that it sounds good to you and then you're going to be good to go all right and one thing to remember if you decide to change the voice in any of these processes like any of these settings you got to make sure that you go back and generate right so you can see right here it says my total quota i got about seventy thousand credits or quotas remaining you gotta you know be aware like you don't want to just keep using you want to make sure you got your stuff good to go and then generate and if you change the settings anytime you change anything just go back and generate all right now let me move me out of the way so you can see what we need to do next so let's say i want to get this mp3 right here all i would do is i would come over here and i would hit this download button okay so there's the audio i would save it to whatever i want to save it right so we can go back and use it and since i already got this on my computer i'm just gonna go ahead and grab the one off my computer but i just want to show you how you need to download it all right so i'm gonna hit cancel on that and then it also shows you how long it is right so you can see right here it's 45 seconds long usually once you get between like 500 to 700 i know it's pushing like 
beyond almost like 38, 39, 40 seconds. And you'll start to notice that as you continue to use this tool and you'll just get better and better, all right? All right, so boom, we got our MP3. Now the next step is we need to go to download a software called Descript. Descript is an AI video editor. You can do pretty much anything you need to do, right? Add sound effects, visuals, music, all of that stuff. And I've talked about that here on this channel quite a few times. Um, so you definitely want to check out those other videos as well to learn a lot more of how you can go about using this. But I want you, I wanted to show you the plans. All right. So they have a free plan. They have the creator plan and they have the pro plan. Me currently, I'm on the pro plan right now because I love unlimited, right? I, I don't really want no limits. I want to be able to do what I need to do. All right. Especially if you're doing like a lot of videos and you're doing editing shorts, all that, this, this is perfect for that. All right. But you can go where you need to go, right? So if you want to start out with the free plan, see how it rolls for you, then you be good to go and then if you want to upgrade you know down the road then you you make that decision all right all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into the software let me go ahead and do that all right so boom i'm inside of Descript on my desktop all right so this is what we need to do i'm gonna go ahead and click on new project i'm then gonna click choose a file to transcribe all right so i boom i click that then i'm gonna come up here and let me go ahead and go to okay that should work okay so there it is right there how to create youtube videos fast using ai software mp3 so i'm gonna go ahead and click on open then i'm gonna hit transcribe all right so you can see it's going through the process it's going to transcribe and i'm gonna be able to see all of the words right so let's just give it a few seconds you can see it's already at 50 percent, and then we'll just chime back in all right so you can see right here it transcribed everything that you know i said inside of that uh particular mp3 now you can see we got a blank screen right so typically when i do what i'm showing you here is when i'm doing like shorts right i typically don't use this for like a regular youtube long form video i'll go up here click this drop down arrow i'll hit portrait now it's in portrait then from there i come up here to templates and then i use audiograms okay and then i click this right here okay so you can see boom it gave me this little template right so what i like to do is i'll remove her I'll remove this one right here. And then what I'll do is I'll make this right here bigger. So I'll stretch this out, you know, make it a little bit bigger, you know, so, you know, they can kind of see it in the short preview. And then what I'll do from here is I'll kind of stretch this out a little bit so it can kind of fit this uh, circle. Okay, boom, we good like that. And I'm gonna replace this, this uh, media. So I'm gonna click here and um, hopefully I got like some of my pictures somewhere like very near. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just use this one for now. So I hit open, I hit replace and then boom, I just replaced me that quick. So now they can not only hear it talking, but they can also see a face, right? Just in case, you know, you don't actually want to be on camera, but you could just use your picture. Right. So it just really depends on what you want to do. All right. So boom. So now they know who talking. And then right here, usually in this little section right here. OK, it's not showing up right now, but hold on. Oh, there it is. All right. So for this little section right here, this is where I do my text. So let me move me down. I'm kind of like everywhere right now. All right. And then for right here, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this layout section. I'm going to move this up to like 1490. Uh, that's a little bit high, but I'm adjusted though. All right, so let's let's move this down. Okay, so that's about the range when we're talking about shorts, right? Because we don't want it all the way down here because we know that we got like the title showing up down there. Sometimes the super thanks shows up down there. So you want to make sure it's somewhere right here and that should usually work. All right, so now we got our uh, captions. I usually just use my bold font. I'm kind of still in the way. Click on that bold font right there. Okay, boom. And then what I usually do from there is I just make sure that what I'm saying is popping up how I want it. So let's just go ahead and hit the space bar real quick. Here's exactly how to create YouTube videos fast using AI. Step number one, go to a website called 11labs.com and set up a free account. And the good thing about this is like, we all know that it wasn't 11, like the number 11 labs. So I can just come here, highlight that, hit correct. And then I can just come over here like this, change that out real quick quick and then now it's going to show up as what it needs to show up so let me show you real quick step number one go to a website called 11labs.com and see how easy that is and then the other thing that i do is i just pretty much loop the background so it just continues or you can change the background out if you want to but i come up here once i clicked it hit once and then i click on loop so now the background is going to stay exactly on the whole time youtube videos fast using ai step number one go and it's a pretty much a very very simple process now if i want to change the letter into like yellow or something like that let me go ahead and move this over real quick go to the captions area that kind of keeps getting in my way uh let's try to and that really keeps getting in my way <laughs> all right so let's let's do this let's do 
extend this out okay boom there we go and then i'll hit a fill like this i'll click on the yellow boom there's the yellow and so now when i click on it you'll be able to see the yellow here's out. exactly how to create youtube videos fast using ai very very simple now another thing you could do is you can actually add visuals you can add music and sound effects right so as you can see how i just you know clicked on you know before when it was another person i just hit replace media but another way that you could do it is you can come up here you can click this media when you do that, you can see you can add your own files. You can add video, like stock video and different things like that. And you don't have to worry about copyright or anything like that because you're paying for the service. Um, and then right here, you got GIFs. Um, you got the images. You got the audio, right? So whether you want to do music, you want to do sound effects. And this is anytime you see most of my shorts, like I'll say about 98% of my shorts are you are done using Descript. Um, and then as far as the uh, videos, you can also do backgrounds as well. And then in the GIFs, you can do Giphy stickers, right? And this is where I typically come in here and I do something like, uh, let's see if I want to do, I'm going to say boxing gloves. All right, so if I hit boxing gloves, Boom, boxing gloves will pop up just like that and I can add that in my video. So you see how simple they make it, right? So if I click on this, I'll just click on this one real quick and boom, it's in there. And I can adjust the size if I want and then we'll just go ahead and hit, uh, we'll go ahead and go to that section. Using AI, step number one, go to- And that's if I wanted to play throughout the entire video, but if I wanted to do it like on a section, let's say I want to do it on the step one section. I go ahead and I hit slash right here and then I go ahead and hit slash right there. Oh no, I hit it a little too early. So let me go ahead and do it again. So boom. So now it's only gonna have the boxing gloves in this section right here. So let's go ahead and click on them again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in front. Fast using AI. Step number one, go to a web. Just like that, right? So it's a very, very simple process. And all you gotta do to save it is come up here to file, go to composition, export. And then over here, you can see you got different options on how you can export. And then what I do is I usually just leave it how it is on max, on high, and then you can see what the settings are, right? I can go all the way up to 1440p, but I usually just keep it at, um, you know, 1080p. And then from here, you just hit export, and then you just save your video, and then you go ahead and upload it to YouTube.